We are tracking Hurricane Ian, a major category for hurricane just off the coast of Florida, and that's where we can find Fox's Lauren Blanchard. She is live right now at St. Pete Beach, which is a little north of where we are expecting this eye of the hurricane to make landfall. Have you noticed a change in the weather out there here in the past half an hour, Lauren? Well, Brian, we are definitely getting rain here, some light winds, but the worst of it for at least this area, not expected for at least a few more hours. As you mentioned, we are north of where this is expected to make landfall. This area looking at four to six feet of storm surges, but when you actually look where uh, Hurricane Ian is going to make landfall, expected to come ashore as a Category 4 hurricane, they're looking at anywhere between 12 and 18 feet storm surges. You and I both know this is extremely dangerous. This storm not only bringing just horrible winds with it, possible for tornadoes, but the amount of water that also comes with it, that's what makes it so dangerous with the flooding, the storm surges. Uh, we've heard from the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, who said if you have not evacuated and you are in one of those places that needed to evacuate or are going to really get walled by this storm, you need to stay put at this point. It is too close to it coming ashore. Roads are going to start getting pretty dangerous, as you were mentioning. Uh, flood waters, of course, you don't want people outside trying to take pictures of the storm. So they're saying get inside, get to higher ground, hunker down because this thing is going to be a beast when it actually does come ashore. And Brian, we're already seeing power outages in Florida, tens of thousands, if not now, I think over 100,000, so many so. They've already pre-staged 30,000 crews to try and bring the lights back on once it is safe. But the problem is the storm's not even here. We're already losing power. Uh, places in South Florida already feeling effects of the storm. This is going to be quite, uh, quite a big one for these folks here south, and it's going to have some pretty devastating effects. Yeah, uh, a lot of meteorologists down in that area calling this storm potentially catastrophic. And you were talking a little bit earlier when we were yeah. chatting with you about uh, some people either chose to stay, had to stay, uh, even in these mandatory evacuation zones. So what are those people uh, are going to do now at this point? Well, where we are, St. Pete Beach, uh, the roads look like a ghost town. This is one of those mandatory evacuation zones. Only people allowed here have a permit to be here. Uh, police were stopping people from trying to get across the bridge here. Saw patrol out on the beach going up and down. Uh, but they are trying to make sure people stay inside. If you are not uh, going to evacuate, make sure you're in higher ground because the flooding, at least where I am, is going to be very dangerous. Lauren Blanchard reporting live in St. Pete Beach, Florida. Thank you so much, Lauren. Thanks, Brian.